we are driving a clapped out Honda CRV called Gertrude 4,000 miles through Africa to the Gambia, which will be auctioned off for charity. We've also got some very special cargo on board with us medical equipment and supplies for Legs for Africa. We are here in Bristol at Legs for Africa HQ and we are here to meet the team that we are taking the prosthetic legs and tools and equipment to Gambia for. So Legs for Africa is a charity that helps people get walking again. So our main mission is to help amputees live independently through the provision of prosthetic legs as well as through emotional and physical rehabilitation. Since we started really we've worked with a um, prosthetic centre in Banjul in Gambia um, so as well as providing them with the prosthetic components that they need to fit to people uh, we also provide extra funding to the workshop for anything that they need to help them with all of their daily tasks, with any machines, um, with all of the activities that they run um, so we also donate um, any equipment that we might receive, we also uh, buy the tools, materials that they need for socket making, um, for repairs. So what the team are taking are just a mixture of really useful supplies such as a vacuum machine which will be used for creating sockets, um, lots of different tools that just make everything so much easier because these supplies are just not always easy to source. Sometimes they need to be imported and the cost of that can just be astronomical. So when we can just get it to them for free um, for if it's an item that maybe is broken and can't be repaired or that they can't access it just makes everything so much easier for that workshop to work really efficiently and just get legs onto people who need them. Last time we left you at our beachside campsite in Dakla. Morning morning. Good morning. What's the plan today? Uh, the plan is to go to Hotel Barbarus, which is an hour away from Mauritanian border, which is where we go tomorrow. So, yeah, it's only three and a half hours away, so it's not an early rush. And before we knew it, we were on the road again. We had a quick stop at Topic of Hobbitville. <laughs> <laughs> and then it wasn't long before the next problem. Yep. I think I tried to pass the track, but whoa! Yeah, I saw that, I saw that. This is what happens when you hit a massive pothole in the middle of... Am I allowed to say it? I need a bit more height there. It's it. Western Supermare. Western Supermare. I.e. Western Supermare. <laughs> yeah, it was a big pothole. Not allowed to say it. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have like some really good tarmac for about, I don't know, from here, from Connie's car to Mark's car, so tiny distance, and then all of a sudden it will just turn into a dirt track with like massive dips either side, and that's kind of what they caught with a massive pothole, and then they were like wiggling all over the place. So, yeah, go at good speed here. <laughs> I figured this was a great opportunity for a photo shoot. He wants the chair back. Okay. That's what I do when the men change the wheels. <laughs> shit, shit. Shit, shit. <laughs> Where'd you go behind that mound over there? That mound over there, look. I think I've been there before. <laughs> <laughs> Do not go anywhere near that. <laughs> Good job the wind's blowing that way. <laughs> On the way to the hotel, we spotted some other Dakar challenges. This was the first meeting point since Spain, and it was great to see everyone had made it. In essence, you've done the art, you've done the tarmac bit. I was about to say you've done the hard bit. You haven't done the hard bit yet, that's coming tomorrow and the next day, but it is the fun bit. Okay, so we are at the border of Mauritania. It's getting a little bit exciting now. Uh, just waiting for the border to open. Once we're through the Moroccan side, there's a slight strip of land uh, which is riddled with mines. Okay. We drive. 
Yeah, we're driving through a minefield. Also known as No Man's Land. No Man's Land. A minefield in No Man's Land. So that's going to be a bit spicy. Yes, and then when we get into Mauritania, we're meeting a guide. We've got a guide per uh, five teams. And then we'll be going and doing a little bit of a desert run. And then we're camping this evening at a big sand dune, which I'm pretty excited for. So that's going to be good. So we'll see you when we get through customs. We've got a few hours to wait. Wilson! <laughs> I'm proud of that. We're still, the sun's come up, we're still waiting to cross the border. After a, lo after a really long drive. <laughs> 40 minutes, but it took him an hour because he was really scared. The roads are rubbish. <laughs> they weren't. <laughs> and it's dark. dark. Best, best it's roads dark. we're going to have until we get to Gambia now. That's true. He was worried about hitting the camel. Even though there was no camels. It could have been a camel in the dark, you couldn't see it. So we're all a little bit tired. It's, we're, we're up at four. What time is it now? Yeah. It's, it's now 8.42. The border opens in 20 minutes. Oh, God. And then we've got to get through the borders. Apparently in Morocco, they search you on the way out. Apparently, so we've got to do that. Then we're going across the minefield. Hey. Oh, they don't do a body search on me because I stink. They, 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 they need a full team to do body surgery on you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're waiting, and um, we just thought we'd update you on how miserable we are. How miserable we are at this point. It's just a lot of waiting. In the minefield. We're Go in on. a minefield. Driving through the desert, through a minefield. Now in Mauritania, headed for the desert. As Tony, also known as my dad, went to go and get help, Katie and I assessed the damage. Two things we need here, one a mechanic and one a mechanic with a YouTube channel. Okay, uh, looks like Mark's car's hit a stone or something, got over a rut. Uh, looks like there's a sump guard uh, or sump cover at uh, bottom of the engine and it's cracked and all the oil has leaked out from the engine. All the lights lit up, up like a Christmas tree and um, yeah, all the oil's lost. We've got half an hour. We've got all day. Let's get over inside and see if we can fix it. So I'm the strongest at the front on this bit because this is the real difficult bit. But if for any reason it comes back down, don't add your hands under the arches because it'll chop them off. But and if I say step back, everybody immediately step back because it's dropping. But we'll have a go. Once we get into the first point, and then we go back under for a second grab, it'll get up to a certain point. It'll be about this angle. It's going to hold it there, and then we'll put the stuff in place, and then we'll gently let it down. Give it everything. Two, three, go! Oh, your front suspension snaps, right? Right, this time, believe you can do it. One more go, we're going to really go for it. Get yourself a good place. One, two, three, go! extra cautious and ensure that the putty that we used to seal the sump had set, we decided to give them a tow. Now, what the 
fuck's happened there? What had happened there is because the suspension snapped. Oh, well, your front suspension snaps, right? It became increasingly hard to tow them through the softer sand. So whilst we awaited help again, Katie and I did some donuts in the desert. Alright, we got the setup, setup. We've got some ration packs on the go. We've got Dad coming back from his shit. Oh, wait. oh what a day. What a day, what, what a, a day. day. We're back at camp. Sweet over there, got Mark and Monica. Say hi, hi. We are in the tent, camping. Got a set up, got a light, got some double air mattress. <laughs> Sleeping bag. Lovely life, sand everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Oh, my eyes. Morning. Morning. Right, so we didn't really sleep too well last night. Uh, we just, it was very windy, got a little bit cold, and now we're just cooking up a ration pack and having a coffee before we set off and do the beach run. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned for that, and we're probably going to get stuck because we got stuck last night. Yeah. Didn't get it on video, but we got <laughs> stuck, and we're probably going to get stuck again. Yeah. Um, but who would have thought where we woken up in the middle of Mauritania, in the middle of the desert? Like, look. Like sunrise. Ooh. Mm. It's lovely. You ready for the desert run? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to the beach today? No idea, probably not. <laughs> yeah, so there's meant to be a beach run where we go and drive along the beach, but because it's taken so long, I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Uh, which kind of sucks, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. This is still fun, it's just uh, a bit tiresome. A bit. It was fun to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> We had a team of a leaky radiator. Luckily, the guys in the stretch limo were great mechanics and they had it fixed in no time. Any words to say? Yeah, I'm tired. Spectacular. It's Spectacular. <laughs> Brilliant. No, uh, the Octavia keeps on getting stuck. Got skinny tyres, high speed, high velocity. We're going. High revs, and we're going. <laughs> Right, so we are still in the middle of the desert. In the middle of nowhere. We're going round and round in circles. We're meant to be going to the beach, but we're not. Everyone's getting stuck. And now apart from us. even the army guys are stuck. In a Hilux. In a Hilux, they're stuck. We're not stuck yet. Just really hot, hungry, bothered. Covered in heat rash. No shade. <sighs> Fed up with sand. It was fun for a little bit. Yeah. Now it's not. <sighs> Will we make it out? Who knows? Stay tuned. <laughs> Legs for Africa. So they're all stuck. They're stuck. Hello beautiful people, I am currently in the back and uh, we finally made it out of the desert and now we are hopefully going to be going and making our way along the coast and then down onto a beach and then hooning it along the beach run um, if we've got time. 
but because there's so much faff, we don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Um, but. We arrived at the beach campsite where two of the teams were already waiting because they had gone the roadway due to yesterday's major problems. Right, so uh, we've got them down. We have made it to the beach. Uh, not, not the way we wanted to get to the beach. We were hopefully driving along the beach for most of the day. But uh, we have made it. It's alright, it's pretty lush to be honest. Dip your toes in. Yeah. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> I might be warm. <laughs> Morning. Morning. So uh, we're actually doing the beach run today, which is good. We've been letting down our tyres and just packing everything up because we are crossing over into Senegal today. Uh, we've got about eight hours of driving. 20 kilometres is going to be on the beach with a few teams that have got capable cars. And then uh, after, that, after that we're going to be waiting a lot of time at the border and then crossing the border. Hopefully. And then going to the Zebra Bar where we can get a nice cold beer because I think we deserve it. Hopefully. That's Order shuts at six, so if we're there before then, then we'll get through. But if not, then we have to, uh, we have to sleep, sleep in the, in the car compound. park. Yeah. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Right, let's get ready. I kept falling off the bed last night. I knocked her off her sleep on a slope, and I kept falling off the bed. Got are you doing the beach run? Yeah. Yeah. You excited? Absolutely. That's the fun bit. <laughs> And now the race to the border was on. If you got to the border first, it means you left first. We hadn't booked any accommodation in the zebra bar, which was limited, so the race was on. We are now in Senegal, we've crossed the border. You saw that shit state of a road that we had to get across in Mauritania to the border. Bloody hell, that's one of the worst roads you've driven on, isn't that? Uh, absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> that's not a road. That ain't a road. We uh, did get air at one point and uh, almost fucked us, but my yeah. bad. Oh well, we're here now, it's all good. It's going back down to 50, which means speed bumps. Speed, speed bumps here bumps. are ginormous. <laughs> We are currently at the zebra bar in Senegal. This is like the tent where they like got little cottages and all that kind of stuff around here. There's monkeys, there's birds that make weird noises. It's pretty cool. But yeah, this is where we slept. So me and Michael over here, and then Michael's dad over here. And we put a fake, fake bug in his bed. Turns out he found a real one though as well. <laughs> Good morning. So I'm just wandering along the beach. I've got to pinch myself really, because like, along this trip, it just hasn't really felt real. It's just been like waking up every day and being like, oh my God, I'm in the middle of the desert, or oh my God, I'm in Senegal surrounded by so many beautiful things. We've driven almost 4,000 miles down to Senegal at the minute. We're going into Gambia today. 
I don't think any of us thought that we were going to make it this far, to be honest. Ready to bring on the next one, really. I mean, we're still not there yet. We're still not in Banjul. We've still got a way to go. I was walking along here to see if I could find some monkeys or something. There are monkeys. We saw some on the road come in, but I missed them with the camera. Thank you guys for coming along. This isn't the end of it, though. This isn't the end of the video. I just want to thank you in advance. And uh, make sure you subscribe down below. Leave a comment if you liked it. Leave a comment if you've been to any of these places. Uh, Senegal, Morocco, Mauritania, and the Gambia, but we haven't yet got there. Remember guys, if you really want to do something, but you're a little bit scared or nervous or anxious, just give it a go. Just do it, scared, anxious, or nervous, because trust me, it's better to learn on the job than try and sort the problems out beforehand. Because I was worried about this trip, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Katie, I know, was very worried about this trip for certain reasons that I'll let her explain but she's absolutely loved it. You've had an amazing time, so make sure you summit yourself, subscribe, and just live the best life that you can live, really, because that's all we can do. And I will uh, catch you in a bit. I'm gonna try and get some breakfast. Yeehaw. So the plan of action for today is heading to the border for Gambia, mm -hmm. Go into a little town near the bridge, which is about four or five hours. Stand there, then from there, making our way across the bridge, to down the, the river, line. to Banjul. Yes. <laughs> Anything you want to say about this trip? It kind of feels like it's over, even though it's not. It kind of feels like it's over. Yeah, we've still got a week in Gambia exploring, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. Uh, just that it's been utterly amazing. I really didn't expect any of this, and... Yeah, I worried myself to death for absolutely no reason. What is it that you were worried about? <laughs> well, if you read up, Mauritania is a very unsafe place for people in general. <laughs> Not just women, but people. Um, and yeah, I basically worried myself to death that I was going to be kidnapped, mainly because of him and his dad, yeah. because they kept making jokes. So then that just heightened my anxieties about it all. But it was actually, the people were actually very friendly and we were lost in the desert for about a day so it didn't really matter because we didn't see anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just been way above my expectations so I'm very glad that they pushed me to come. So yeah. Well done. Mm -hmm. Proud of you. But yeah. So yes, remember, you can get out of your comfort zone too. You can summit yourself. Do the things that you want to do, even if you're scared of them, but just do them scared. Like, I'm in Africa. <laughs> What have you got? It's an omelette. Is it? <laughs> well, it's not, but it's windy. <laughs> Full of onion and tomatoes, which is a bit different to have at 9 o'clock in the morning, but... Okay. It tastes quite nice, though. Here she comes. Hi, gorgeous. Hi. I'm just chilling. <laughs> I found a hammock. I got, I got carried. I got, I got sidetracked. I'm meant to be getting tidy. <laughs> <laughs> rather not, pack up. Rather not, to be honest. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get it. Sit first, like that, and then swing your legs around. Oh, like a pro. <laughs> really nervous. Comfy. I shall give you a tour of G. Back here we have the backseat driver. <laughs> backseat driver. And all the other crap. In this box here, this massive one, that's the camera box to keep it all nice and safe from dust and sand and everything else. Not that it's really worked, but it's there. We have down there in the bubble wrap, you're probably wondering what that is. That is the packing machine that we're bringing for Legs for Africa. The vacuum oh, vacuum machine. machine, that's it. Sorry, my bad. Um, yeah, that's what we're taking to Banjul for Legs for Africa charity. Africa. And then basically all our other stuff goes up there, so like the snacks and the ration packs and all that kind of stuff. So then let's take you to the front. In here we have walkie-talkies because that's how we keep in contact with the other guys in our teams. Uh, we talk to each other through the radios. On here, you can probably see all these tally charts. So, Look at the dust. Yeah. Um, so breakdowns, quite self-explanatory. 
So we've had three so far, not too bad. So the breakdowns were, obviously the first one was Friday the 13th before we even left Michael's drive. That's one breakdown because I wouldn't start. Uh, the second breakdown was on, was it on a bridge in France? It was. It was, it was. We were overtaking a lorry and like, we when lost all power. When is the limp mode? Yeah, basically. And then the third one, what was the third one? The actual brakes. Oh yeah, the brakes went. <laughs> yeah, we ran out of brake discs. And then, wizards, you're probably wondering what that is. Okay, so they have a traditional like, uh, coat over here. Bola, 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 jalabi? Jalabi? Jalabi. Jalabi, I think. As in Morocco. Yeah, and it's really pointy hoods. So if they're wearing those up, and they have a, is it a star? Or star? a stick. Or a stick, then they count as a wizard. So we've seen quite a few of those so far. Um, NDE, that is near-death experience. Yeah, we've had three of those. There's four on the tally. <gasps> There's four, yes. That's cause, yeah. So the first one was we were in France, Spain. or we were in Spain. Yeah, Tony was very tired. <laughs> and pulled out on the motorway when it was a giveaway sign and yeah and then the second one was lorry we almost got swept under a lorry third one was michael's driving he didn't look in the mirror because it was dark and it was dusty and someone almost swung into someone and the last one was connie overtaking us in the sand it's very close and then pc is police checks this is where we have to give them fishes or fishes fishes i think uh, which is has all our details on so yeah so now we're going to the back and this is where all our camping gear is and pretty much everything the food everything like that we have the table that comes down with the stove which you've seen and yeah we've got all our stuff in here and then our clothes and everything go in the roof box up the top and that's pretty much a tour of G How you finding it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. That's eh? a lie, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm really scared. Me and Alan right behind you. Okay, go. We're we'll getting good shit here. <laughs> Not very big. <laughs> this car's a bit big for me. Jump those poles on the right there. And <laughs> also on the left. <laughs> If you're scared of doing something, make sure you just do it. Do it scared. Because right now, I'm sweating, not from just the heat, but from nerves. But hey look, I'm driving in wherever we are. Yeah. Well, somewhere in Senegal. Today is the day that we cross the finish line. We're in Gambia. We. Uh, Came into Gambia last night, late, we were hot, we were tired. It was a stressful border cross crossing. Um, quite quick, but very stressful. And now, we're meeting all the teams on the bridge for the last stretch, two hours. We've done it, how are you feeling? Um, okay, as you can see, you can do dot to dot on my face at the moment, because as soon as we got here, I got eaten by mosquitoes. So, yay. <laughs> But other than that, I'm relieved that the car made it. <laughs> We're stopping here to wait for the other team so we can all drive into Banjul together, but first a harmless prank. What's that? It's Tony's heated seat. <laughs> How hot is it? It's only like mid-20s. <laughs> you know, a little bit of extra heat won't hurt. <laughs> How are you feeling, Dad? I'm tired, hot. You're hot? Yeah. Got a hot back? Uh, sweating. Hot bum? Yep. Oh, that's close. I'm going through. That's good. Yeah. 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 Ye
that's it. Through the chicane. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Nearly there, nearly there. Some would say your seat was quite hot, wouldn't they? Even quite hot. In the last few miles of this journey, we decided to take the time to reflect on what an amazing adventure this had been. Proud of you. 4,000 miles, and we are here in Banjul, Gambia. Woo! Done it. And what a welcome we've had. <laughs> What was left was the handover the supplies for legs for africa wonderful thank you so much for bringing this equipment uh, these things are very useful for us uh, in the gambia because uh, mostly for the amputees that are in the gambia they need this kind of support and this is something that is so wonderful for us to have wonderful donation to uh, the center and we are really 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 appreciated we are happy may god bless you thank you very much Thank you very much. Welcome to the Smiling Pot. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hi. We are walking through the crocodile farm. No fences or anything. It does feel sketchy. It does feel a bit sketchy, but it's, it's like really cool. Dicing with death. <laughs> They're just like you're walking along and then they're just there in the path and it's like whoa. Some are pretty docile. Yeah. Um, but one other he had his he was moving his head, he looked a bit awake to my liking, so I quickly <laughs> shuffled past that one. He was a big six is it six meter? Yeah, six meter one. He was a big boy. This is mad. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay. Yeah. So that was the crocodile farm in Banjul. Uh, recommend coming here. Yeah. Make a donation to help feed the crocs and look after them and stuff. A little necklace if you want one. Little croc necklace. Croc tooth necklace. Yeah. If you want to feel a little bit on edge, come here. Do it. <laughs> And that is us having completed the Dakar Challenge. Hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment on where we should go next on our next big adventure. Yes, we're looking at other challenges for the future as well. We have one, definitely. We've got one in mind, so leave a comment for what you think it may be. Yeah. It's going to be next year, though. But yeah. let us know what you think it could be. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And we will see you in the next one. Hey.